Hey there, welcome back. If we haven't met yet, my name is Tiffany. I'm a Washington realtor who has a love for creating beautiful spaces on a budget. And today I'm going to be doing something a little different, sharing my fall decor with you. If you follow me, you know that I do the vast majority of my shopping at the Goodwill outlet or the Goodwill bins, and I collect seasonal decor over the year. When I went to pull out what I had collected, I found that I kind of had some gaps. So today I'm headed off to some thrift stores to see if I can fill those gaps and really round out my decor. If I don't have any luck there, I will head off to some normal stores to see what I can find. I do have some DIY projects that I'll be sharing with you and I'll show you how I styled my home. Thank you guys so much for joining me here. Hope you enjoy. The first thrift store I stopped at today is Value Village. I thought this sign was cute, but they wanted $6.99 for it and it did have a stain on it there. I didn't have much luck at Value Village, so I then moved on to the normal Goodwill. This teapot here was really cute, but it's just not something that I would actually use. So I really try not to buy things unless I have an actual use for it. I really liked this throw blanket, but it did have some snags on it. So I had to decide if it was worth it to me to put in the effort to try to fix it. This knit blanket definitely interested me as well. Knit items just feel cozy to me. And in that regard, it feels like fall. I was really excited when I spotted these glass pumpkins. In the past, I have bought glass pumpkins with lights inside, but the lights have burnt out. So I loved that the bottom of these were open so I could add lights to these if I wanted to. On my way out, I spotted some items that they were about to put on the shelves and I found this pumpkin in here and I thought it was so pretty. Since I didn't find what I was looking for out thrifting, I decided to stop at some other stores. Next stop here was Marshall's. Marshall's had a lot of great options for fall decor and not just for living rooms and family rooms, but also for kitchens and bathrooms as well. I decided I wanted to incorporate a little bit of color in my fall decor this year. And looking around my house, I was trying to figure out what color would best complement my home. So I decided to go with a terracotta or rust color. And I was trying to find a table runner that would go with that color scheme. If like me, you are very drawn to neutrals, but you want to try to incorporate a color, I suggest just going with something that is toned down and kind of muted. Don't try to go too bold.
The word that comes to mind when I think of fall is cozy. And one way that I like to bring that cozy feeling into my home is through soft fabrics and materials. I noticed that I was seeing a lot of these out at the stores, these quilted table runners. It's not something I've seen in the past, so I thought that was interesting. As someone who rarely shops at new stores, I found it fascinating to see what the reoccurring themes were from store to store and what the trends seem to be. I can't tell you how many times I have found these exact lanterns at the Goodwill outlet. Earlier this year, I found a large bag of little pumpkins like this. I thought it was interesting to see how much those cost new. I have picked up several pumpkins like this at the Goodwill outlet. So once again, I thought it was interesting to see those prices. I also noticed more taupes and beiges and browns than I have seen in the stores in a while. Again, as someone who largely thrift shops, I really have a hard time with these prices, but at Hobby Lobby, if you find a piece that you really love, if you give it some time, it will normally go on sale. So watch those ads and see if you can get it half off. They had some really beautiful fall florals and all of their fall items were 40% off. And if you're trying to stretch your budget, if you're going to buy something new, it's nice if it can work for more than just one season. That was one reason I really liked these here because I felt like they could work both for fall and winter. And welcome to our home. So this wreath here is something that I picked up several years ago at the Goodwill outlet. I've been using it for several seasons and I'm still very happy with it. Aside from the candle on that stand there, everything that you see on this dresser here was picked up from the Goodwill outlet.
If you've been following along, you may recall that I picked up a set of these foam pumpkins a few weeks back. Here I'm just painting them to see if I can make them look a little more high end and a little less like foam pumpkins. While at Hobby Lobby, I didn't come away with a lot of items. I did come away with a lot of inspiration and I was hoping to bring in some of those terracotta colors and I had this vase on hand. So I decided to take this paint that believe it or not, I picked up at the Goodwill outlet and I'm going to see if I can turn this into something that will work in the space. Once painted, I decided that I actually wanted it a little lighter. So here I'm just mixing in some white paint and this is more the color that I was hoping for. Once dry, I am dabbing on some very watered down chalk paint. What I'm trying to do here is give this almost an aged terracotta look. Once that was dry, here I am taping off the bottom section. I'm just eyeing it. I'm not worried about it being perfect. If I wanted that line to be perfectly straight, I would have measured off the top of the vase. And because this is an uneven surface, I'm making sure to push that tape down into the little divots in the vase. And here, once again, I'm taking some tape and just eyeing it to try to get it straight. To try to get that line nice and crisp and keep the paint that I'm about to apply from bleeding through, I'm dabbing on some water-based polycrylic here. Once dry, this should create kind of a seal and keep paint from bleeding down underneath that tape. You may be wondering why I painted the entire vase if I was going to be painting that top section there. The reason is when I start a project, I have a general idea of what I'm thinking, but as I go, it kind of evolves. So my plans often change as I go. Here I'm using a flat white spray paint, but don't make the same mistake I did. I shook this can, but I didn't shake it super well and it came out really chunky. I just decided to continue to spray and once it dried, I flaked off as much as I could and just continued on. Sometimes things just don't quite go as I would like, but it normally works out. If you just continue on, try to course correct, sometimes it can work out for the better. And here I've just filled it with some twigs from our backyard and I was able to accomplish pulling in some of those terracotta tones that I was hoping to. I wanted to use this wooden box to help elevate this pumpkin up a little bit, but I didn't want it quite that high. So here I am just cutting that box down to the desired height.
And now this box is the height that I was looking for and I'm sure I'll find a use for this piece as well. And here you can see those white pumpkins that I painted earlier. When I ordered these faux eucalyptus branches here, I had planned to make an arrangement with them, maybe use them on my kitchen island, but when I got them, I decided to add them to this floor base that I already had in this room. And everything you see here is from the Goodwill outlet. I had never seen anything quite like this little orange tree, so I thought that was a fun, unique find. I did end up ordering this throw blanket and these pillow covers on Amazon. I will have those and any other items that I have purchased new linked down in the description below in case you want to go check them out. I had picked this little picture up quite a while back at the Goodwill outlet. And when I saw this at Hobby Lobby, I decided to do a bit of a dupe here. Ideally, I would have used Rust-Oleum's stone effects, but I had this hammered paint on hand, so I decided to use that. But when I went to go spray it, it's been sitting for quite a while and it was not working. So here I'm taking some mineral spirits and I'm putting it on a toothbrush and then brushing the end of that tip there and it unclogged it. Sometimes it doesn't work, but it's definitely worth a try. And you can also use that as a preventative measure to keep it from clogging in the first place. This is my first time using a turntable when spraying a piece and I loved it. It is such a game changer. So if you frequently spray paint items, this is so helpful for getting even coverage and preventing drips. I also like to put things on a piece of cardboard or on a piece of wood. So once it is sprayed, if I need to move it somewhere warm to dry, I can do that very easily. And here I'm using this galvanized vase that I had on hand and I picked up this greenery and these little berries at Hobby Lobby and I'm just fluffing them up and putting them in this vase here. I like to pick up things like this wooden box at the Goodwill outlet. I think this is a great way to add some height and texture and visual interest to a grouping. Once again, everything you see here was picked up at the Goodwill outlet. Sometimes I like to layer table runners and I wanted just a little pop of that rust color. I didn't have any success finding any in stores, so I ended up ordering this one on Amazon. In our kitchen here, the trees outside the windows, several of them are turning fall colors. They're losing their leaves. I almost feel like those are doing a good job on their own of bringing that fall feeling into our kitchen. I did end up keeping our fall decor fairly minimal in here. You may recall that I picked up this vase last week at the Goodwill outlet and I like to keep our mugs on display on this tray here. So I thought this would be a fun opportunity to bring in a little pop of fall color. This mug here I picked up at the normal Goodwill. 
This one here I picked up at Marshall's and I loved these little pumpkins inside. I didn't even notice that until I got home. And if you were watching last week, I picked up this mug here in the bins. As I had said, cozy is the theme that I'm going for. And one simple way to increase that cozy feeling in your home is by adding candles. And this pretty pumpkin here, I'm trying to find the perfect spot for it in our home, but for now it is sitting on our counter. Aside from the candle, everything you see here was from the Goodwill outlet. I loved this little pumpkin here and I was excited when I found it intact in the bins and it was originally from Pottery Barn. This tray is, again, something that I picked up at the Goodwill outlet, and here I'm removing the stickers off of the bottom. I know that might seem kind of odd, but sometimes when I want to elevate something, I will flip the tray over to give it a little extra height. So I like to have both sides finished. Here I'm cleaning this with some rubbing alcohol. and I am using dark walnut and special walnut Minwax stain that I had on hand. I was hoping to be able to match the current finish on it, but it didn't look like that was going to happen, so I just decided to mix the two and stain the whole tray. Next, I'm applying this Jolie White Finishing Wax. I discovered this product when I was doing a process called serrucing on oak. And as soon as I put normal wax on the piece, it started to turn that orangey yellow color again. So I did some research and I found this product and it definitely worked. I've since used it on many projects I've really enjoyed having this on hand. Once applied, I then went over it and wiped off any excess. We'll come back to this in a bit and I'll show you what I did with this. Do any of you deal with this? This couch is about seven years old and these cushions here are down filled. And unfortunately, this is what this couch looks like a lot of the time. So I decided to pick up this pillow at Walmart. It was under $5 and I am going to use that filling to stuff these cushions. Here's a look back at the before and here's the after. If you don't have a new couch in the budget right now and you just want to prolong the life of it, I think this is a great option. And here's how I styled that tray. The pumpkins and the greenery inside are again from the Goodwill outlet. 
And over here on our mantle, I did add some lighting and I know that may read a little Christmassy, but that is what I love about interior design and decorating is that you get to do what you really enjoy. So I would encourage you, don't worry too much about the trends. Unless you're getting ready to list your home on the market, you just go ahead and personalize it how you like it. And here you will see those little pumpkins that I picked up at the Goodwill outlet. I also grabbed this greenery there. I did order those lights on Amazon. I picked up this pumpkin here in the bins. It was part of a set and it does have a smaller one that matches it, but I just decided to use the one this year. As I had mentioned, when I found this blanket at the normal Goodwill, I had to decide if I was willing to try to fix those snags. This is something I have done many times. I'm not sure if this is a right way to deal with this, but I cut those snags and I triple knot them, and then I cut off the excess string. And I picked up this super soft plush pumpkin at Marshall's for $12.99. And that wraps up my fall decor for this year. Now, before you go, if you enjoy this video, would you please do me a big favor and hit that thumbs up button. And just so you know, it is totally free to subscribe. So if you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, that will help to ensure that you don't miss future videos. I hope you and your family have a wonderful, blessed fall season. Thank you so much for joining me here. I'll see you next time.